you something might be here and leaves blowing up. This is uh, the drain plug I pulled out. It's an oversized rethreaded one. It was really hard to unscrew it from my oil pan on my 2006 Jetta, VW Jetta TDI. And as soon as it did, I'd seen all the threads were full of aluminum and I knew I was screwed. Um, so what I did was I used this set, there's more on that later in the video, to re-thread the oil pan. Air will pop down here. It's actually on the back of the oil pan there. On the video, I actually show me taking off the oil pan, but I didn't have to do that, I found out later. I thought it would the thread would hit on the, the, the way it was machined inside, but it would have went through. And this will apply for many vehicles as far as re-threading. But what I ended up doing, because it's a 14 millimeter 1.25 thread, I ended up using a <laughs> Iridium spark plug out of my uh, SL500 with the C55 AMG motor. I replaced all those, uh, 16 of the spark plugs and that's the only thing I knew that had the correct threads for that. But it's, it's been a couple weeks, it hasn't leaked a drop. Uh, I used a uh, on the insert, I used outside the insert. I used a red Loctite, and since I didn't have a rubber gasket, I just put silicone on the threads and let it let it uh, on the threads of the spark plug and let that seal it, and it doesn't leak at all. But it worked really good. Uh, I'm happy to fix it. I actually this was fairly easy to remove the oil pan on this. There's just a couple bolts on the transmission here. Then all of them were outside except for a couple of kind of a bitch to get out inside of here. You could use a five millimeter or 10 millimeter. Five millimeter Allen or 10 millimeter hex socket. But I found out an easy way to get that. It's later in the video. But just, you can just watch the video for the threading part. That's what most people are gonna be interested in because I mean, that made life so much easier. I, I hate them crappy re-threading uh, drain plugs. I'm not happy with them at all because that just that was a one-time use, and then you're screwed. But watch the rest of the video, and you can see everything that was done, and you can see from the inside of the oil pan how much clearance it was. Tried to change oil in my 2006 Jetta TDI. The last time I changed it, I had to put in an oversized drain plug. Can't see my hand. Oversized drain plug. When I unscrewed it this time, I could actually. It was hard to unscrew all the way. It literally ripped out all the threads. So there's that was a double oversized one. So I don't even think I can do anything with this. Hopefully I have a spare engine a BRM in the backyard that I, I think I can just pull off the oil pan. But I did find out something on these bolts that are they're 10 millimeter on outside and 5 Allen on in, millimeter Allen on inside. If you rotate the dual mass flywheel to where the two springs, there's a gap where the two springs come together on each end, 180 degrees apart. It gives you more room to access the, where's it again? the Allen. Yeah, right there. You can see that hump next to it. That's almost all the way around except for the two gaps. That gives you more room. You might be able to do it with, uh, instead of using a ball end, five millimeter Allen, you might be able to do it with uh, uh, just a straight long one. 
I happen to have is this one. I don't know where I got it. I think it was flea market for like a quarter. This uh, flex 10 millimeter quarter inch drive. I got all the other ones out. This one I did get out, but it, it was too hard to keep on screwing because of the, that ridge was getting in the way. So now I, I'm able to get at it. I'll be able to get at all the other bolts around here. Put on a different oil pan. Also, I had uh, for my F-150, I had a uh, insert kit with solid inserts like time search that I got, but the, the tapping that's too long to go. This only goes straight, the threads only go straight, then it goes up into the pan. So I can't use the tapping that and put it on that insert. I was going to try to do that, but that didn't work out. But we'll whip this out, get a new oil pan in it. And got new control arms in it already. Front end's all lined. Put in the Tiguan Passat brand new rear springs I got off uh, Amazon. That lifted the back end up so it wasn't smacking in the... You can probably even see if the driveway right there goes way up. Because it's basically <laughs> the ditch. Instead of having a pipe under the driveway, they just angled the driveway down to create a ditch. Kind of freaking stupid, but... Let's take out these three 16 millimeter bolts. all the 10 millimeter around it or you could use the Allen. I prefer to use 10 so it don't strip it off. Uh, these four inside these slots, that's the one I moved to uh, the Dumas flywheel to get more room to get up at that, uh, get up at the two in the middle. I just use the flex uh, 10 millimeter. Everyone else I've seen were using a ball millimeter. It's kind of at a radical angle. No, I'm not really radical. I just didn't want to strip them all. Now that there's that slot in there, you can probably use a five millimeter. I'll probably check it out and see if you can use it when I put it back in. It might be easier to put it back in using the Allen too. Now this is a spark plug uh, insert set I bought off of eBay. It's like 20 bucks, 25 bucks I believe. Well, less than 30 bucks. It's really nice stuff. It has a stepped drill bit. This is a re-threading one for the spark plug. This one's stepped. It goes from the spark plug size to the OD of the insert size. There's solid inserts like time suits too. So hopefully I can just lock tight that in there below, flat below the face of the oil drain plug and no leaks. And I'll be screwing into steel. I really like the looks of the set, but I keep this in my F-150. The earlier, like 97 to like 99, I believe, uh, 4.6 and 5.4s only had like three or four threads on the spark plugs, so they'd blow out. So if you read, if you could do this even on the road, you could re-thread this even on the road, like put shaved cream inside the cylinder and uh, thread it, put grease on the, grease on the, on the outside of the tap. I, I guess I probably thought of that already because I put, it says grease and Loctite under tray, which is, oh, right there. So I could do it on the road if one of them ever blows out. I'll use Loctite. I have a big couple bottles of it. I don't think it's the same size threads as this. I tried to thread that in there. I'll just go get whatever size that is. Or just stick a spark plug in the oil pan drain. <laughs> but uh, actually, I might do that for right now. So I can go get uh, the right size drain plug but that sh that should work fine um, yeah that'll work much better so, well we'll see how it goes um, the step drain plug 
or tap comes all the way out and it doesn't look like it, I'll, I'll pull it back out. Clean up the oil pan, clean up the flange, clean up the flange on the engine, bottom of the engine. I took off the windage tray, which would be right here, bolted underneath the motor. is one long bolt. And that uh, gives you access all the way around to the flange on the engine to clean off all the, the sealant with the scraper, carefully clean it off, and like, I'll have to clean this one off too, I see. But, uh, put on new sealant, put the windage tray back on, bolt it back up, we should be fine. Yeah, here's that gap where the 180 degrees apart, both the springs have a little dip so that you can get at more easily get at this bolt and rotate it, get at this bolt. You can reach in between one of these gaps and slowly walk your uh, flywheel clockwise. You don't want to go counterclockwise, you might screw up your timing belt. Uh, yeah, that's easier. Uh, for the hell of it, you should probably check inside your uh, strainer. The windage tray comes out with this one bolt and it slides like this. From this side, it slides like that. You have to get past the oil dipstick tube and the strainer. Uh, clean off the gasket surface really good. And I'll bolt this back up and be done with it.